Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you four super easy Instant Pot meal ideas. We are kind of obsessed with our Instant Pot. We use it all the time. And our favorite thing is that you can just dump the ingredients in the pot and it cooks up within a matter of minutes. And so we use it all the time because it's just super, super easy. Don't let the Instant Pot intimidate you. If you guys haven't used your Instant Pot yet, pull out the manual and start using it because once you learn how, it's just so easy and you're gonna be obsessed like we are. I will also have all of the links to the recipes that I'm using in this video linked in the description box below. So if you guys wanna make these recipes for yourselves, just go ahead and check out those links. The first thing that I am making is Instant Pot mushroom and spinach risotto. We make this all the time. We like to eat it as a side dish, but also some nights we will eat it as the main dish as well, and Emerson really likes this one. So the first thing that I'm doing is chopping up one onion. And then I'm also roughly chopping some mushrooms. So turn the Instant Pot to saute and add in two tablespoons of butter. And then once the butter is melted, add in your chopped mushrooms and onion. And then cook the veggies down for about three to four minutes. And once the veggies have cooked down, add salt and pepper. Next, stir in chicken broth. We're using chicken stock here. We just get a big pack of this organic chicken stock from Costco, so that's what we're using. Pour in two cups of chicken broth, one cup of arborio rice, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of dried thyme. Put the Instant Pot lid on and seal it and make sure that the vent is closed and then turn the Instant Pot to pressure cook and cook for six minutes. Once the timer has gone off, you can release the pressure. Now that the rice is cooked, stir in two tablespoons of butter and two cups of baby spinach and stir until the spinach has wilted. And then add three fourths of a cup of frozen peas and one fourth cup of freshly grated Parmesan. And that is it. I'm telling you guys, it's super easy and one of our favorites to make. Next up is chicken tortilla soup. This one is seriously so good. And it has a lot of ingredients, but it's pretty much, you just dump them all in the pot, so it's easy. So the first thing I'm doing is chopping up an onion. Turn the Instant Pot to saute and add in some avocado oil. We like to use avocado oil just because it has a higher smoke point, which is supposed to be better for you. Then add in the onions and cook them down. While those onions are cooking down, I am chopping up some carrots. And I don't personally peel my carrots. I don't really care about that. So I just chop off the ends and then chop the carrot up. And for this recipe, I need one to two cups of carrots. Also, dice one cup of celery. To the onions, add the carrots and celery, and also five garlic cloves, or the equivalent, since I like to use the already prepared garlic. Next, add in diced tomatoes, one to two cans of black beans, green chilies, then add four cups of chicken broth or stock, then salt, cumin, chili powder, dried oregano, 
and juice from one to two limes. Next, this is totally optional, but I highly recommend it, and it definitely makes a difference, is to add a little bit of the adobo sauce from a can of chilies in adobo. It adds a nice smoky flavor, and it's really, really tasty. And then the last thing to do is add two pounds of chicken. You can either do chicken breast or chicken thighs, but we always prefer chicken breast. Next, turn the Instant Pot to pressure cook and cook for 12 minutes. Once the soup is cooked, pull the chicken out onto a plate and shred it. This was kind of hard to do because the chicken was falling apart in the soup, which is exactly what you want. Once it's shredded, add it back into the soup. Now the soup is done and it's time to top it with some diced avocado, a little cilantro, and a squeeze of lime juice. You can also add sour cream and cheese if you want and serve it with tortilla chips. Next up is chicken alfredo. Of all of the recipes I'm sharing tonight, the absolute easiest because you pretty much just dump everything in and go. So the first thing to do is season the chicken breast with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Next, turn the Instant Pot to saute. and then brown the chicken for about two minutes on each side. Then remove the chicken and set it aside on a plate to be added back in later. Next, add in about four cloves of garlic and saute for about a minute. Then add in one quart of chicken stock or broth and scrape up the garlic and the brown bits on the bottom of the pan. Then add one pint of heavy whipping cream, one pound of uncooked penne pasta, salt and pepper, Put the lid on and set the Instant Pot to pressure cook and cook for six minutes. Once the Instant Pot turns off and you release the pressure, then go ahead and take the chicken breast out of the pot and set it aside on a plate. The cream and pasta mixture might look a little on the liquidy side, but once you add in the cheese and stir it up, it will thicken. Then slice the chicken breast and add it back to the pot and give everything a stir. Once you have plated the pasta in a bowl, to the top add some parsley and some more Parmesan cheese. This recipe was super easy and it was so incredibly tasty. 
The last recipe that I'm sharing with you guys is pot roast. And I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by pot roast, but if you cook it in the Instant Pot, it is foolproof and turns out delicious every single time and it's really, really easy. First, I'm quartering two onions. And then pat the roast dry with a paper towel and season with salt and pepper. And then we also added some 21 Season Salute from Trader Joe's, but that's optional. We just wanted to do it. Turn your Instant Pot to saute and add in some oil. While the Instant Pot is heating up, go ahead and chop up your carrots. And now sear the meat on all sides. Next, add in your vegetables. And some garlic. and two cups of beef broth. And then turn the Instant Pot to pressure cook and cook for 50 minutes. Look at how good that is. Now remove the meat from the pot and also the carrots and onions. You can see I was having a hard time because the meat is literally just falling apart. Leave the broth in the Instant Pot with the Instant Pot turned to saute and let the beef broth come to a boil. Once the beef broth has come to a boil, add in some flour and whisk. This is gonna turn the broth into a nice gravy. And then pour the gravy into a bowl and set aside. I have cleaned out the Instant Pot and to the clean Instant Pot, I'm adding in some more beef broth and a head of cauliflower. Set the Instant Pot to pressure cook and cook the cauliflower for about five minutes. Drain the cauliflower and then add it back into the pot with some garlic and about a tablespoon or two of sour cream and some salt and pepper. And then mash with a potato masher. And that is seriously it, it's so easy. I like to plate with the cauliflower mash on the bottom and then put the pot roast and veggies on top of that. And then top everything with that gravy that you made. Seriously, all of these recipes were super, super easy. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please let me know and I will be happy to make more of them. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't done that already. Follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch to keep up with us there on a more day-to-day -day basis. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.